Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In the previous test, we did spectral purity measurement, the output of this uh, micro SDX plus using Tektronix 495P spectrum analyzer. Now, today I just want to demonstrate a similar test done. In fact, the same test done using the tiny SA. So, this is what I intend to use today. And uh, this has some advantages. Uh, immediately, it can tell us the difference, the level difference between the fundamental, the, uh, the second harmonic and the third harmonic. So that's uh, really helpful. It's a helpful feature. So let us uh, check it out. So right now we are on uh, 80 meter band and the setup is the same. I'm using a 30 dB directional coupler and along with that just to safeguard I have used the homebrew attenuator this is a 50 ohm attenuator altogether it has an attenuation of 30 40 50 60 70 70 uh, db uh, uh, attenuator 50 ohm so right now I have used only 20 db this is just to safeguard uh, the uh, tiny essay because uh, although I'm using a 30 dB directional coupler I still want to be uh, extra careful uh, therefore I'm using before I feed it to the uh, tiny essay I'm running it through this homebrew attenuator right now with only 20 dB plugged in so we are on uh, uh, we are on 80 meters CW I'm going to transmit and then let us see. So when I transmit the power, you can see 4.5 watts. Uh, it's uh, onto a dummy load. Um, you know, it's a little messy here, uh, the shack table. And I also hooked up my computer. Here you can see. I hope you can read that. So it is all self-explanatory. It gives you the delta. It gives you the delta, the fundamental at what level it is, and the second harmonic at what level that is, and the third and the fourth. So you can check that out. We are now on the 40 meter band, 7 megahertz. I'll just check on only the major, uh, the old classic bands. And the power... 4.7 watts and here when I check if you can you know pause the screen you'll be able to read the values there the delta between the fundamental the second third and the fourth harmonic you can see the different levels there okay we are now on uh, the 20 meter band and the power output is 5.1 watts and you can also have a view at the uh, the tiny SA screen it is too tiny <laughs> so that's the reason it is better we have a look at the computer screen here so this is on 20 meter band and you can see again once again the delta the fundamental the second third and the fourth harmonic the level different levels you can pause the screen and then read it out okay we are on the 15 meter band now can see and the power output is 4.3 watts and this is the tiny SA and now let us see what this is so we have fundamental second third and fourth and the fourth is going down sometimes I think if the delta is too much, I think it just uh, switches off. So we are now on the 10 meter band. And uh, the power output is 4.7 watts, 4.5 watts. And uh, just to uh, repeat what I said before, it is uh, 20 dB attenuation before being fed to the just take care if you guys want to do this test just make sure you have enough attenuation before uh, 
you feed uh, feed the signal to the, your tiny SA because that it can easily get damaged. Not only the tiny SA, any spectrum analyzer. So now this is the uh, display on the tiny SA, and now let us see this bigger screen. So this is on the 10 meter band, and you can see there are the fourth one is coming and going. I think it is low. Sometimes, occasionally, it just picks up. So at least there are two there. You can see the difference yourself. Okay, guys, right, this concludes the test. Thank you for your time. Thank you for checking out this video. Bye-bye.